Ring Central versus 3CX versus Dialpad, or how to stay in control of your PBX. Hi there, customer experience community. This is Dominic. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to look at ways to stay in control of your PBX system. We've chosen three tools that have caught our attention, and that's Ring Central, 3CX, and Dialpad. We're going to break these down and see what each of them does, and we're going to choose a favorite. So hop on this journey to find out how you can stay in control of your PBX. Let's go. No, 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 wait, before we begin, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Only 9% of you who are watching these videos are subscribed. So please give a like, subscribe. It will really help the algorithm, well, the channel and us. So I'd be very grateful. Thank you so much. Instead of focusing on features, which all of these platforms have, meaning Ring Central, 3CX and Dialpad, we're going to focus on the experience customers are having with them and what you maybe can take away from this to your benefit. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time. My name is Dominic. I am a customer experience enthusiast. I've been in the field for 15 years. I didn't even know I was doing customer experience. I've been a Zendesk consultant for the past decade and uh, we are a Zendesk premier partner and every week we learn new things and we come here to bring you value. So let's go. Let's do basics first. What is PBX? PBX is private branching network. Okay, what does this mean? A PBX, as it says, a private branching network is a telephony system which can can be used in three ways. First is the analog, meaning it's a physical phone with a physical wire, which is connected to a phone, which has an extension, and this all together is a PBX. Now this is the classical and option number one. Option number two in here is going to be having a voice over IP. So uh, having all of this phone capability, but over the internet. So you can still have a physical phone to answer, but it's going to be over the internet. And option number three for a PBX PBX is now the more modern cloud PBX. And all of these options are right for your business depending on cost, depending on resources, depending on how you have your business structure. Now my favorite out of these three is the cloud version because you can keep everything there and leave the maintenance to somebody else and you can just use the configuration side of things and own that. Not having to maintain an analog phone system or a network or all of this stuff which can be pretty much maintained by somebody else in the cloud. This is just a personal favorite. Now let's talk about the three tools that we've chosen. Ring Central. Okay, Ring Central has been founded in 1999 and it started out as a PBX system that companies used on a wide variety of levels from enterprise to small business. This is the big player in the market, the big dog, if you will. This is the one that has get gotten a little bit too big for its own good. Now, in my experience as working as a Zendless consultant, I have run across many cases where customers came to use Zendesk as a ticketing system and they needed to integrate with their PBX system, which was being used on Ring Central. You have to give due credit to things that are being done well. So Ring Central does a good networking and does a good network setup and has a good PBX system. Now what I don't like and what our customers have come to us as an issue was the fact that they are being held into long and very expensive contracts. Ring Central is expensive and that's not necessarily the problem because if it fixes a thing that you need and it's worth the cost, then why not? However, if it's not doing what you're supposed to do, then you're stuck with a really long contract which is long and it's very hard to get out of and I personally think it's weird to keep people locked into contracts that they don't want to be in so anyway that's just me I am trying to project and give out into the world a other kind of vibe where if you don't like the services then you can just go away because that will make everybody's day a little bit better and you know you don't want to be stuck in some weird vibe where somebody doesn't want to talk to you but they have to because they are being held in by a contract Ugh. I'm gonna pause this video real quick and I'm gonna meditate because I got mad. Later that same evening. Okay, I'm back. I meditated. Yeah, it's fine if you want to trap people into contracts that they want to be in. But, you know, that's something which really large organizations do and they don't have any regards for people's experience anymore. And that's how big bloated companies end up doing. Now, I made a video about types of customer experience, which I'm going to reference up top that you can see types of experiences that companies offer. And you'll see why I have this bias towards the better experience and wanting to be heard and appreciated instead of uh, having to be, you know, exploited in a way. So 
yeah. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because I've uh, had this experience where customers came from Ring Central and they were a little bit upset about their needs not being met. I have to give due credit again to some companies that had been using it for 12 years, I think. This was the last uh, interaction and they were happy with it and they didn't want to change it. So all good. My problem is these costly and very long contracts that you can't get out of. I'm not a fan of that at all. Okay, second tool is 3CX. This one is a tool that was founded in 2006 and uh, I think it's UK based. But anyway, it's a very international type of company and it offers PBX services and uh, I like it for various reasons. Now they have a free version and they have very good costs in comparisons to Ring Central. So in my decade experience of working with Zendesk, I have not heard anybody complain about 3CX. And the reason for that is because they have a very relatable kind of approach to how they do business. And this comes back to the contracting agreement that uh, we talked about earlier, which is easy to get out of. Now, obviously, if something is not doing it for you and you need something more, you need something better maybe, you can just go get that. Well, 3CX can help you achieve more and for a lower price and if you're still not happy then they let you go and then you have a positive experience and maybe you can reference somebody else to it or at a, at a later point if you change your role you can come back and use it as a solid solution for you they avoid complicated add-on pricing structures which I also like no costly per user per month pricing you don't need a credit card you can pay with bank transfer so they make it really easy for you you of course can pay with a credit card but they give you the benefit if you start with them you can use their free solution and you don't have to put a credit card to lock you in to make you feel unsecure that you're going to get charged for stuff that was an add-on that you didn't know was an add-on so if you don't put the credit card in there then you know you feel safe with it they have a video conference room of about 250 participants and there's no time limitation to that so the free version for 3cx is up to 10 people and it's free forever and you can use it for as long as you like and this is great for small and medium teams that just want to get off the ground and have a telephony system that they use in order to facilitate you know running the business not worrying about what to do about a telephony system so you can have this option as a startup the choice of the SIP partner is up to you the user which is great licensing with these guys seems transparent and the reason why I say that is because I haven't heard people coming to Zenas while using 3CX or not using 3CX but having had experience with working with 3CX I haven't heard them being uh, negative about it. What's more, I heard people reference them. Oh, well, just to use 3CX because they seem nice. They seem great. And you have a good product and you have a decent price structure and you have a decent a way of doing business which is ethical why not and you only have to gain now the pbx system can be hosted on 3cx of course you can host it on your cloud or on premise video calling is included in all package versions even in the free one there's also some free training and webinars that they do frequently which is also great everybody does webinars but you can learn for free how to do stuff and you can have a very cost-effective pbx system now the great thing about 3cx for the pro account and the enterprise is you can get a ton of features uh, that can do everything just as well as Ring Central or Dialpad that we can talk about a little bit later. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can see for yourself some of the features that these guys have and you can make a comparison and uh, make an informed decision. Third tool is going to be Dialpad. This one was founded in 2011 and I think this one is US based and uh, they have started out from a PBX system themselves so a telephony system and now they have rebranded themselves into an AI tool and researching for this video I noticed that uh, it was hard to tell if it's a PBX still or it's an AI company. I was more leaning towards the AI bit because it seemed that everything in their comp in their platform is now AI powered. And I noticed that they have an AI that isn't the assistant in the call. So during video calls, this one records everything and writes it down in the transcript, which is great. Not just that, but audio calls as well. So that's good because you can leverage that information and you can make business rules. And that's also great. They integrate with Zenas, they integrate with Salesforce. So it's really powerful tool. It's a bit pricey. They do have a seven day free trial and you can use that for only seven days. I'm not advocating for free stuff because depending on your needs, you can just figure out, okay, I need something that uh, fixes these business needs and it costs this much and it's worth while for me so I'm just going to go ahead I totally get that and it makes a lot of sense 
I'm just trying to put out there some differences between these tools. I like dial pads, design looks good, the website looks nice and I, I enjoy that. However, it's one of the tools which even though it's bigger than 3CX as I've come to see, it's not necessarily as popular, especially with this new rebranding. They're obviously trying to get more market share in doing more things, trying to keep companies with all their customer service within one place, which makes sense. Okay, cool. But they did start out from a telephony system. They've grown into this video conference and now they're adding AI on top of it and a bit of ticketing system, which is kind of like a paper tiger, if you will. But anyway, it's good that it does integrate with Zendesk and Salesforce and a bunch of other tools. What I really like is tools that are effective for their specific purpose, that were built out for a specific purpose and they do that and they do that well. So Dialpad can do a bunch of stuff but it's expensive and it's not as popular and now it's started to do uh, a lot of AI which is kind of weird because you know there's plenty of AI tools out there anyway it's not for me to decide or judge too much but I am a bit biased so you know what can you do okay conclusions from the tonality of my voice I think you've understood which one is my favorite. And this is purely based on the experience that some of my customers and our customers have had with 3CX. And uh, so I like that one the most because it has a free version and it has a very ethical way of running contracts and you can get out of them if you need something more and it just sticks to the telephony system. Of course it adds adds add-ons but that's the main starting point which I like. Uh, it's a telephony system and uh, use us for a telephony and if you like our other add-ons for ticketing, for automations and for yeah everything else. I'm not going to focus on features but you can use those as well but our main focus is having a top-notch telephony system especially for obviously the paid version which cater to mid-size and large organizations. Ring Central, big dog, don't like them. They've grown too big and companies when they grow too big they just start being greedy and just focus on more 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 however not more experience better experience more money that's it that's that's all they care about and Ring Central has fallen pray to this we miss you ring central bye you've gone away sorry you're not in uh, interested in customer experience anymore now dialpad decent choice a bit more pricier than uh, 3cx i also like them too they have skewed towards ai too much for my taste and uh, yeah that's it okay that's enough for today's video thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already i hope this brought you value and i'll see you in the next one bye